Taurus, hi. Welcome to the Yellow Mandala. Here we weave stories from the past, present and the future based on Indian mysticism, Indian mythology and a little bit of Indian tarot. Now, if you are new to this channel, we welcome you. If this video resonates with you, please do hit the like and subscribe button so that the algorithm can share this video with the rest of the tarot community. Okay, with that, let's get started, Taurus. Your ruler Venus is in Sagittarius. Okay, you have the Nine of Wands, oops, you have the Nine of Wands, the King of Wands, the Page of Cups, okay, and the advice is the Hierophant, and the overall energy is the Queen of Cups, okay. The Nine of Wands, like you've been through a massive battle, but you're weathered through and you're proud of how far you've come, okay. The present you have the King of Wands, you're, you're undergoing a major metamorphosis, you know, you're rising from the ashes. And you know that you are going to go and reach your goal, your zenith, you know, your Mount Everest. Like, what is your Everest? And the Hierophant is someone who is extremely, like, traditional and stuck in the base, you know. So you have a proper goal in your mind and you're going to go forward with that goal of yours. And the Hierophant can also traditionally mean legacies and inheritances. I mean, in this instance, let's just clarify and see, all right? I don't want to, like, jump the gun. The future, you have the Page of Cups, an innocent love offer coming in. And the overall energy is Queen of Cups. Beautiful. Like you're extremely guarding your love and you're being mysterious about it. Okay, let's just clarify and ask why. Now, why do we have the Nine of Wands here? Like what happened with Taurus? The Seven of Cups. Okay, the King of Coins. The Seven of Wands. Um, it seems like your the person you were dealing with had considered you as an option. And um, you, on the other hand, thought that they were like, your king of coins, like someone who's stable, someone who's got everything sorted out in their life, and, you know, someone who's persevering towards their goals. But then this person, in spite of being a king of coins, they had a lot of options, you know. Or maybe this, this need not always be another human being, or like another love interest. This could also be taking care of the family, or, you know, having too many responsibilities at work. Maybe they were extremely overwhelmed, and they couldn't give you that particular... Uh, you know, the attention or the love and care that, that you needed. But still, you weathered through. You were like, mm, you know what? I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. I'm okay with this. Uh, let's just, you know, that's all right. That's all right. Because love is stronger than these these present day conditions. So you weathered through and then you gave it your all. I think that, I think, I think you, I think you gave it your all. Now, let's see what happened. Now, you have the king of wands in your, in your current energy. You're rising from the ashes. What happened between you and this person? The Ace of Coins, the Queen of Wands, the Six of Wands. Maybe you're like done waiting for this person to give you that particular uh, attention or love and care. You're like, I'm my own queen. And this is a, this Queen of Wands is extremely self-confident. She's from the volcanoes and she knows that she's got that confidence, the determination. The, she's so proud of herself. So she's like, I can do anything. I can achieve anything. And the Ace of Coins. So you must have recently come up with some new idea or a new proposal. Or some, some, like, some, like some new beginning in your life, you know, to be related to work, ca career, like your own business, uh, family life, whatever. Like like something brand new. Look at this card. It's absolutely beautiful. It's giving birth of something ab uh, abundant, right? And Six of Wands is someone who's celebrating it with her community. Like the, the gender roles can be reversed in this case. But look at this. This person, she's the daughter of the tribal headsman. And she paved her own path. She's like, I'm not going to follow the rules. I'm going to do things my way. And still she persevered and she succeeded. I think you're in that energy. That's why you're you like the phoenix rising from the ashes. Taurus. And I don't think you're waiting for this person anymore. But let's just clarify. The Hierophant is someone who is extremely like, you know, look at this person. This person's guarded. This person has got a lot of patience. This person's following the rules. And as a Taurus, you are a homebody, right? And you're right, uh, right now, I don't think you're waiting for this person. And let's just clarify that. You have the two of swords. Makes sense because you're like at an impasse. You're like, I need to take a pause on this. I can't keep giving this person the benefit of the doubt, right? Because you're the queen of cups. And how much will you keep pouring from your cup? Your cup is going to be empty, right? And two of swords indicate a person who's taken a pause in their life. And they don't want, uh, you know, to give out any more of the energy. They're like, I'm conserving my energy for my mental health and for my sake, which makes sense because this person is treating you like, you know, one of the cups and the seven cups and six of swords. You want to move to a better place uh, in your life, 
if it concerns this person, you are like, I'm done waiting for you. I'm going to move on to better waters. There are better people out there. Someone who respects me because I'm a phoenix rising from the ashes, you know. And three of wands. And it seems like you're ready to go and rescue. Um, hmm. I'm just going to carry for three of wands. The hermit. The moon. The spread. Why do I get this feeling that this is you rescuing yourself, you know, instead of another, instead of someone else rescuing you? Because of the Queen of Wands here, right? She's extremely self-confident. This Queen here is extremely self-confident and she's rushing in to go and protect her own people. And then here with the Three of Wands, this is a princess that's rescuing, to re that's running to rescue her prince and she's far away from her home. But I feel that in this instance, you are rescuing yourself from a toxic situation. And you did some inner work. You, you really did think about yourself. And right now your mind is all about, you know, I want to reach that stage of Zen. And I don't care. Like, I'm, I'm putting myself first. And you are looking at inverse for all the strength. You want to tame, you can tame a lion, a crocodile. But you're the queen. And I think you are here in, in this story, you're, you're your own heroine. You're your own hero. You know, that's beautiful. Like, not everyone realizes that, you know. Beautiful. Now, in the future, you have Page of Cups. Like someone new, I feel it's this person who's new, could be younger than you, is coming forward and this person's like really, you know, cheerful, happy. You really need a lot, lot of happiness in your life right now, right? So, you you are getting uh, the Three of Cups in reverse. Okay. Um, this person's coming in, but it's Three of Cups in reverse. Oops. Sorry. Why is it three of cups in reverse? Four of coins. Knight of cups. I believe this is, this is tying back into your... Um, I mean, it makes sense why you're focusing on yourself because you, you also could be starting a new job, worrying about uh, your paycheck, Maybe you're not paid enough in your current job. Maybe you want to try for a new job. You're worried about your uh, money. And this could mean that you don't... The Three of Cups of Rivers will indicate a person who's not open to, you know, uh, celebration. Who thinks that they don't deserve good things in life. And for me, even though you get a page of cups, a new person coming in with love. And another person coming in with love, like a Knight of Cups. It could be someone from your past. So you have a Knight of Cups and you have a page of cups. Like a new person and your old person coming in. You feel that you don't deserve love because maybe you're, you're, you're too focused on your pentacles right now in the immediate future. So let's see what action you're going to take with for this new person coming in. I'm just curious. The Ace of Wands. That's good because I believe that with the Page of Cups and Ace of Wands, if th there's going to be this healthy exchange of communication, creativity and maybe a bit of passion. But I don't think you're going to go with the Knight of Cups, the one who kept you, you know, hanging and who kept you as your uh, plan B and plan C. So you're probably going to go take a leap of faith with this person, with this new person. Why, but but I still feel that you're weighing, you're, you're, you're still bogged down by the work situation here, you know, maybe something to do with the money. Now, let's just clarify the Queen of Cups, the overall energy. The Three of Coins, the Ace of Cups. The eight of cups, right? So you're gonna be moving uh, ahead without your old person. You're gonna be like, no, 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 no. You can't keep me on hold. I'm not your backup option. So you're walking away. You're choosing to walk away, and it makes sense because your own, you're the own hero of your story, right? And ace of cups again. This new person is gonna bring in a lot of love. This is um, this is beautiful nectar of life, and and you know. Ace of Cups is a beautiful energy along with three of coins and you're and eventually you're going to be extremely happy you're, you're building your own craft you're maybe picking up new skills uh to make maybe make a bit more money like a start a side business or something that's amazingly beautiful so you're walking away from this old energy and you're giving it a lot but the at the end the moral of the story is you're your own hero which is absolutely beautiful now let's just get some advice from the universe make a different card The Hierophant in reverse. Okay. Sprint in reverse. 
the sun in reverse. I mean, it makes sense because why you have the Hierophant strength and the sun in reverse. Uh, Hierophant would be someone who's extremely, you know, like traditional. Um, you have a Hierophant upright here in your advice and you have Hierophant in reverse here. Uh, <laughs> I think the cards are clarifying each other. It's just that while uh, you are being extremely traditional about this, this situation, maybe you're like, I need to give this person a chance. Maybe this person was someone you have been I mean, maybe you've been with this person for quite some time and then you feel that, you know, maybe it's going to affect another person. Maybe children are involved or something. But then it says that you need to have an open mind because because you, you, you no longer have to be dependent on someone else to, you know, write your next chapter of your life. Because remember, this three of wands, you're the heroine of your own story. You're the princess and you're rescuing the prince and the prince here is the, 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 the true you. The one who deserves to be freed from this hell of being someone else's option. And maybe you're, you're doubting your own strength and maybe you're being a bit pessimistic about this. But the universe is reminding you that always remember that you're the own hero. You're your own hero. All right. And this is a beautiful read, uh, Taurus. So uh, I'll see you in the, ne in the next video. And till then, uh, take care. Bye.